It's behind these bars at this Belgian prison that Frank van den Bleken has been locked up for almost 30 years. The convicted rapist and murderer wants doctors to end his life. He says he can't control his sexual urges and doesn't want to leave prison because there's a risk he'll strike again. There are no viable treatment options left for him, he says. Euthanasia doctor Dominique Lossignol disputes these arguments. At this clinic in Brussels, he's assisted many patients wishing to die. And he says euthanasia must always remain a last resort. I'm very surprised that all other treatment paths for a sexual criminal have suddenly run out. If that is the case, you have to ask the question if there were adequate provisions here to ensure the right healing. Is Frank van den Bleken incurably ill or the product of a broken penal system? Belgium's prisons have long been criticized, in particular by the European Court of Human Rights. It says prisoners endure appalling conditions, such as little space and insufficient treatment options. Van den Bleken had asked to move to a prison in the Netherlands, but his request was turned down. Politician Christine de Freyne supports euthanasia in principle, but she says many criminals are being pressed to take that path. The problem is, people here in Belgium who should be receiving treatment in special centers are sitting in prison because there's insufficient space in the treatment centers. The law isn't here to empty our prisons. This debate is too late for Frank van den Bleken. His assisted suicide will likely take place soon.